Propeller and shafting. Propeller and shafting. Propeller of a ship. For vehicles running on land, the propelling system which drives them is different. In those systems, the engine powers the shaft which is attached to the vehicle tire to move ahead of the body of the vehicle. However, for ships which are displaced in water, there are no such tires or surfaces where they can ride. A propeller is a rotating fan-like structure that is used to propel the ship by using the power generated and transmitted by the main engine of the ship. A ship propels on the basis of Bernoulli's principle and Newton's third law. A pressure difference is created on the forward and aft side of the blade. And water is accelerated behind the blades. The thrust from the propeller is transmitted to move the ship. The ship is displaced in the water. And the propeller is used to drive the ship ahead or backwards. Depending upon the direction of rotation or pitch of the propeller, the engine of the ship is connected to the propeller of the vessel via shaft arrangement. Marine propellers are made from corrosion-resistant materials, as they are made operational directly in seawater which is a corrosion accelerator. The materials used for making marine propellers are an alloy of aluminum and stainless steel. Propeller parts. Propeller tip. Trailing edge. Propeller blade. Propeller hub. Leading edge. Propeller cap. Propeller root. Propeller blade face. Propeller blade back. The construction process of the propeller includes attaching a number of blades to the hub. Or boss by welding or forging in one piece. Forged blades are highly reliable and have greater strength, but are expensive as compared to welded ones. Propellers are classified on the basis of number of blades attached. Propeller blades may vary from 3-blade propeller to 4-blade propeller and sometimes even 5-blade propellers. By pitch of the blade. First let us see what is pitch. Pitch of a propeller, it can be defined as the displacement that a propeller makes for every full revolution of 360 degree. Fixed pitch propeller. The blades in the fixed pitch propeller are permanently attached to the hub. The fixed pitch type propellers are cast and the position of the blades. And hence the position of the pitch is permanently fixed and cannot be changed during the operation for the ship to move in the reverse direction. The engine and hence the propeller is rotated in an anti-clockwise direction. This will reverse the thrust and the ship will move astern. Propellers blades will have fixed position so to stop or reverse the direction of propellers. Reversing clutch or reversing gears are used for small ships. Controllable pitch propeller. In a controlled pitch type propeller. It is possible to alter the pitch by rotating the blade about its vertical axis by means of mechanical and hydraulic arrangement. This helps in driving the propulsion machinery at constant load, with no reversing mechanism required, as the pitch can be altered to match the required operating condition. Thus the maneuverability improves, and the engine efficiency also increases. Propeller shafting. The ship engine is connected to the propeller via different shafts connected together, which can be named as thrust shaft, intermediate shaft, tail shaft. Thrust shaft. The crankshaft of the engine is first connected to the thrust shaft, which passes through the thrust bearing, whose main function is to transfer the thrust to the ship's structure. Intermediate shaft. The thrust shaft is then connected to a long intermediate shaft, which comes in parts and is joined together using solid forged couplings. The length and number of intermediate shafts joined together depends on the location of the main engine, as a larger ship will have more distance between the main engine and the propeller. Tail shaft. 
The tail shaft, as the name suggests, is the end part of the shafting arrangement and carries the propeller. The tail shaft itself is carried on a lubricated stern tube bearing, with seals as it connects and protrudes out of the ship's engine room into the open sea carrying the propeller. The lubrication system can be of oil based or water type. The tail shaft transmits the engine power and motion drive to the propeller. Stern tube. The propeller shaft or tail shaft is supported by a bearing arrangement, which acts as an intermediate phase between the sea and the ship. The stern tube is a hollow tube passing at the lower stern part of the ship, carrying tail shaft and connecting it to the propeller out at sea. Bearing for the tail shaft. Lubrication arrangement and most importantly the sealing arrangements. The stern tube bearing arrangement and sealing plays a vital part in ship's operation. And pollution prevention. Sealing. The stern tube bearing consists of sealing arrangement to prevent ingress of water. And to avoid the lubricating oil to escape into the sea. Different sealing arrangements are used to prevent water ingress and oil leakage. They are as follows. Stuffing boxes consisting of packing material. Lip seals in contact with shaft to prevent passage of oil or water along the shaft. Out of these, the lip seal arrangement is most popularly used.